Hi guys, I'm finally back. I know I've been kind of MIA for a few weeks. Um, I'm just finally settled in my home in Okinawa. The baby's doing good. Um, I've been trying to go sightsee as much as I can um, before the baby comes because I'm going to be home a lot when he gets here. So I was going to talk a little bit about my second trimester since I kind of blew through that. Um, one of the big things was the heartburn that I was getting. I got a lot of heartburn. I had Tums next to my bed. Um, I, I'd get it like at night, um, which was weird. I mean, I'd drink water, heartburn. I'd drink a or orange juice, heartburn. I mean, banana heartburn. I mean, piece of bread, heartburn. So, I mean, you guys get it. I mean, there was nothing that I could eat that wouldn't give me heartburn. So, um, also at night, uh, during my second trimester, I would lay down and it would be like literally kick fest. So, like a ninja fight inside my stomach. So, uh, I had a lot of trouble sleeping um, because obviously baby's schedule doesn't isn't the same as mine, so, which is okay, you know, I'm happy that he's moving and healthy and everything, but, you know, I need a little sleep too sometimes. Um, although my friends just, you know, everybody's basically saying, get used to it. Um, it's just practice for when he shows up. Well, so I guess you can look at it that way as well. Um, Another thing, I was getting like headaches. Um, I know that my, my doctor said that could be a sign of um, preeclampsia or whatever. So she prescribed like Sudafed for me. So she said that if the headaches persisted even with the Sudafed, that uh, then uh, it's something that we were gonna have to look into. Um, so luckily that hasn't been the case and they've gone away um, the past couple of weeks so also I had my glucose test um, at 28 weeks and the first one the one hour one um, came back my sugar was a little high um, I'm not gonna blame the Milano's for this but I ate an entire bag of Milano's the night before the glucose test so not not the brightest thing to do um, and I've been pretty good about not eating that much sweet stuff I mean I'll have an ice cream here and there but uh, I completely forgot that glucose test was the next day so I guess chalk it up to mommy brain oops but um, yeah, they, uh, that test came back a little high. <laughs> I wasn't too surprised, I guess. But I had to go back and do the three hour one and that one was miserable. <laughs> so uh, the three hour glucose, you know, I drank the orange syrup. Um, so disgusting. I almost threw up at it it was gross <laughs> so but um they took the initial blood uh, blood test and then an hour later they came back with the results and then they gave me the orange drink the concentrated one and then every hour for three hours they drew my blood so i'm still waiting on those results i'm hoping they come out well uh, and i don't think that i've mentioned it yet but um, if I haven't, the baby's a boy, so my husband's really excited. My dad's really excited. So basically all the males in the family are really excited um, that it's gonna be a boy. Um, I'm excited too. I, I could have done with either one, boy or girl. Um, by the time I finally got pregnant, um, I was just like happy that it was a baby, <laughs> so, um, you know, we, we decided to know ahead of time 
Um, just because our family members weren't going to be around. So we thought, okay, um, sharing the sex of the baby is something that we can do with everybody before we take off. Um, because the chances of them all being out here for the birth um, just aren't high. I mean, I'm in Japan, so it's kind of tough to make it to the hospital from California to Japan. So uh, we, we thought we would share that with everybody. And also it would give us some time to prepare. Um, I've also been working on the nursery. So I went with sheep, <laughs> like sheeps and lambs and things like that. I tried to make it as peaceful uh, as possible. So we'll, <laughs> we'll see if that helps or not. Um, I wanted to go with something kind of unisex. Um, I didn't want it to be like two boy, two girl. Um, not that there's anything wrong with that. It just, I kind of like tend to stick to like neutral. Um, so I had this stuff picked out even before the baby. Um, we, we knew what, what the baby was. So uh, really happy with it still. Um, so we should be uh, getting that ready. So maybe I'll give you guys a nursery tour once it's done. Uh, we have to paint, well my husband has to paint because I'm not gonna paint. Um, so once that's done, maybe I'll show you guys. Uh, what else? Um, so I'm 30 weeks and one day today. The one thing that I did start getting was like a stretching on my side. And that happened when I had my glucose test, the last one. So that's kind of new. Um, but they said that with the boys, you tend to get the stretching on the sides and on the back um, because they sit higher than girls. Or at least that's what the nurse told me. And she's had two boys, so I suppose she's also speaking from experience. Uh, let's see what else um, so yeah and I think that's it um, I'll try to be more frequent with these especially now that we're kind of winding down getting ready for it to come or baby to come and show up so um, I'm really starting to grow uh, I can't say that I've had a whole lot of symptoms um, because I've kind of had a really easy pregnancy um, not trying to brag or anything, but um, it's been pretty easy. I mean, minus like the, the back pain and like lately, I've had to put my legs up on a pillow so, so that um, my legs, they, they kind of cramp at night. So I'm surrounded by pillows. So pillow here, here, here down there popping up my legs. It's just everywhere. So my husband's getting a little irritated with me, but you know, I, I have to be comfortable, right? I mean, that's important. So uh, other than that, uh, I'll try to, I'll try to do these more frequently. Um, my husband's gonna be taking off soon. So uh, he's gonna be gone for a month and then he'll show up two weeks before the baby's due. So fingers crossed that he makes it because uh, I'm a little worried so but they say that the first pregnancy uh, usually doesn't come early although I've met some women out here that they did come like two weeks early so hoping that doesn't happen um, so so like uh, my husband makes it to see him so anyway, uh, hope you guys are all doing well for those of you that are still trying. Um, baby dust to all of you and thanks for watching. Bye guys. Oh, actually, you know what? First, let me show you my belly. I haven't done that yet. So this is 30 weeks. So I guess I'll just do it over. So that's, that's him now. I mean, most of the growth has started was like this past month that just started. So, all right guys, see you later, bye.